what I was explaining was how to um, uh, go ahead and adjust this valve around. This is your air relief valve. So anytime that you open up your pump hot basket, uh, emptied out air could be introduced into your system, meaning that you would have to relieve it at the top. And once you fill your basket up, start your system, you notice that to prime the pump, you may have to turn this valve. You can see there's water free flowing. Got it. If there wasn't water free flowing, that's just air that's been introduced to the system, and this is how you release the pressure right from the top of the tank. Okay, great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You should let my husband know about that too. Now that I know too. And you can see the salt actually in there. See it? Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Interesting. Yeah. Now, what I just did there was literally turn your skimmers off, ah. and now I'm pulling directly from your main drain, yeah. which is fun. See, this is what we're talking about. See how there's air, how it kind of burps air or has the air in the system. Yeah. But either way it works. So if, let's say, I'm just trying to show you right now, watch out, there's your the prime coming back to the pump. So anytime that you have kind of any air in the system, um, you release it from here. Let's say if you want more skimming from your surface, mm -hmm. then you would close a little more this direction. If you want more skimming uh, from the bottom of the pool, you would open it up, point this, and close your skimmer Got bottom it. Out. Okay? Okay, cool. Um, when the system's running, never close this valve. Oh, yeah. Okay, just smooth the crap. Don't ever close that. That'll, that. that'll create the back pressure. You don't want the back pressure. No, no. That would be bad. I've been to two jobs this week where someone had done that. Actually, the one this morning, they shut it off with literally this whole piece, which is a threaded piece, and blown straight out. Which, think about the pressure it creates. It can rip threads out. That ruined their system. It can. It can cause a lot of problems. Not only just your plumbing, but on your motor, the on motor. your filter. It can become uh, pretty expensive. Yeah. yeah. We're just going to wait for this to decide. This is a normal thing when you restart your system. You see how it's bouncing around. Yeah. Trying to find out. Where you want to settle in. Correct. Yeah. Correct. And we have good flow and your sanitizer is good. Um, well, your level right here is good. And this is um, what you mainly look at to increase or decrease your sanitizer level. Um, if you notice that your chlorine level in your pool on your test kit is reading below your range, yeah. that's when you want to increase right here simply by pressing more. Okay. It's very easy to do and you can take it all the way up. Edwards, if, say you have it at 80% and you notice that, wow, my sanitizer on my test kit is really, really high, I mean almost that magenta purple color, yeah. um, you can back it back down almost to zero or two zero which is below the 20%, obviously, right, right. Um, until the coin level kind of bounces back out. Um, but that's the way that you control your sanitizer level. If you notice that the coin level is high, reduce it. If you notice that the chlorine level is low, increase it. Got it. You want to get it right to the medium. You want to find the medium. Okay, yeah. now you can see our salt levels obtained where we're good now. Yeah, I see that. Okay. So now we have the proper amount of salt in the pool to create your sanitizer. Okay? So that will allow you to keep the water in check or in balance. So in a nutshell, this is where your sanitizer is produced. Okay? Um, if you notice that the red light comes on, you may want to add salt to the pool. Um, there are test kits for that. We have them. They are expensive. Um, but a simple rule of thumb would be maybe to add a bag or two of salt. Kind of see the green light off though. Correct. Correct. Okay. 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 So this is, um, obviously this lid slides up, allows you to adjust your level like we spoke about. Right, right. Okay. Like we, we spoke again, I'll reiterate. Increase, if you notice that your uh, chlorine or sanitizer level is particularly high, that magenta color, that 3.0, 5.0 in your test kit, you're going to back that down to less than. It's say if you notice that it's below your 1.0, or below your, you know, out of the range on the low side, um, you would increase your level. Now let's say after three or four hours, your sanitizer is still low. The IntelliCore unit has something called a boost, which is a shock. Think of it, how you would add the granules with your hand. Very similar. 
and what you would do um, would be to go ahead and hit these simultaneously. And what that does, it allows for 100% output for 24 hours. Okay? Um, so if I was to do that, it's going to allow 100% sanitizer to your pool for the next 24 hours. It's very easy to do. It's pressing down both buttons simultaneously. Uh, I'm not necessarily going to do that uh, because I feel it, you, know, you don't need that right now. Okay. Um, but if you want, I can do a quick test with a test kit to see where your, uh, where your chlorine level is right now. Okay, that'd be great. All right, yeah. let's do that. Okay. All right.